All right, so now, uh, moving on to Worldcon stuff. Normally we would go on to uh, bids for future Worldcon years, but we have business to do for 2017? 17? 17, 17 yes. Uh, the, the rules provide for a NASFIC. Is there anybody that's idiot enough to stand up for a NASFIC? More than one someone is idiot enough to stand up for you. Oh, I own you now. All right. So, um, for, all right. Uh, hola. Well, one second. We, yeah. We'll do this officially. Uh, the uh, the announcement for 2017 NASFIC uh, for San Jose. San Juan. San Juan. Go. Hola, amigos. Hola. Uh, my name is Pablo Vasquez, and I'm bidding for San Juan in 2017. And uh, these two NASFIC chairs behind me are part of my staff, and they're run DMCing behind me right now. And we'll be passing out some flyers to you while I talk. So, thank you. So, San Juan is actually the oldest city in the United States, uh, founded in 1520. And it's a wonderful city for a NASFIC. Uh, the, uh, with so many tourist attractions as Viejo San Juan, Old San Juan, which, uh, you know, is just a short taxi drive and a short uh, bus ride from our facility, which will be the Condado Hilton. The Condado Hilton has, uh, I believe, eight restaurants, uh, about three pools, a swim-up bar, uh, a private beach, and a 24-hour Denny's, which is the only Denny's in the world that has a full bar. Um, <laughs> Uh, the facilities are more than enough for a NASFIC, and they're absolutely excellent. Uh, our facilities head, uh, Warren Buff, uh, actually went to San Juan not too long ago to check him out, and he actually loved it. So I'm very glad for that. Uh, I am one of the co-chairs, actually. My, co -chair, my fellow co-chair is Isabel Schechter. Uh, she is a fan uh, over on the West Coast. And uh, we have a fairly diverse and large uh, big committee. If those members of the bid committee here for San Juan could stand up, uh, if you could. What? Oh, uh, yeah. There, 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 there. Thank you. Uh, there's much more that, uh, as you can see, that don't come to SMOFCON. They're parts of different conventions uh, around the country. And we also uh, are getting big support uh, on the island. We're working with uh, academics at the universities, uh, with various uh, comic book fans and comic book shops and bookstores on the island, uh, and also working with cosplay communities, uh, media fan groups. And uh, what's interesting about fandom on the island is that they actually uh, are excited to see us here, uh, there. They know nothing about Wispus fandom, but they are excited about a NASFIC because it is an opportunity for us to truly interchange as fans and share with each other what makes fandom so great for all of us. So uh, our room rates right now are around $139, and that includes, of course, Wi-Fi, coffee, and all that good stuff. Um, it is, uh, as I, the bus to Viejo San Juan is only 75 cents. Uh, we are working, we are making a great effort to make everything uh, as accessible as possible. And uh, the buses even themselves all have uh, wheelchair accessibility, so uh, you'll be able to tour San Juan in any way you want. Uh, and there are multiple international flights into San Juan. It is the hub of the Caribbean. Uh, it is a U.S. territory, so uh, American citizens do not need a passport to visit. Um, for the rest of you that are not American citizens, you will need a passport to visit. Uh, but uh, the people there, uh, the official languages are Spanish and English, so you will be able to get around just fine speaking English. If, But I recommend picking up a little bit of Spanish, uh, just for the fun of it. Hola, yes. <laughs> But uh, yes, uh, we're looking forward to uh, creating a great NASFIC. I'm very happy with my committee, uh, which includes not just NASFIC chairs, as you saw earlier. We have a Worldcon chair also on our committee. We have uh, two Hugo winners. Uh, we have uh, a whole bunch of experienced con runners from the smallest possible conventions to the largest. Uh, and uh, I'm just happy that they've joined me on this great adventure. 
So uh, I want to say to all of you, hopefully, bienvenidos a San Juan, and we can't wait to have you there. With three and a half minutes to go, so far you're the winner on saving time, so there'll be an award for that later if nobody beats you. Um, is there any other bidders for NASFIC for 2017? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Why, why are you not bidding a NASFIC, Emily? Damn straight. So, so, <laughs> so basically your answer is lack of ambition. Okay. Um, all right. Moving on to... Uh, Moving on to question time then. Uh, I will toss it over to Randy for the first question for San Juan. La primera question, donde esta la biblioteca? Hay muchas bibliotecas en San Juan. Mi gran amigo. Circa del Convention Center. Huh? Circa del Convention, near the Convention Center. Uh, we will not be using a Convention Center. No. Uh, we... Circa del Hotel. Cerca del hotel, yes, yes, there are many book, there are bookstores, comic book stores, uh, various different things, oh. There are bookstores, comic book stores, and various different things within uh, the area of the hotel. Uh, I forgot to mention that actually the entirety of the convention will take place in the hotel itself, and it's wonderfully air-conditioned. Uh, and uh, so, yes, if you explore San Juan, you will find various bookstores, comic book stores, uh, toy shops, what have you, so... Lots of cool things to see. ¿Cuál es la fecha del convención? Uh, from July 6th to the 9th. What he asked was, where were the dates? Uh, so July 6th to the 9th. Uh, I, Julio, I was translating yeah. the English question. Okay. Julio 6 al 9. And uh, we're uh, looking at those dates. Uh, we're working with the hotel right now. Warren is uh, negotiating with them. And uh, we're securing those dates as we speak. All right, to save you translating this back into English for people, I'll just go ahead and ask this one in English. The main purpose of the NASFIC is, in, well, according to this question, is an affordable con for North Americaners who can't afford to travel to the World Con. Why do you think San Jose meets these needs? San Juan. Well, uh, started it. it's not a sympathy convention for those of you who can't travel to Helsinki. It is a North American science fiction convention that pops up whenever a Worldcon is outside of North America. It's not a sympathy, it's just a thing in the Wispus Constitution. And we're more than happy to provide that for North America. Uh, and uh, what was the other part of that question? What? Why, do you thought, why you thought it was affordable and fit the needs of being Oh, it, it's affordable there, you know, flights can go there, you know, for most of the U.S. flights range anywhere from, let's say, Orlando at $75 to uh, anywhere for $350 uh, round trip. Uh, you know, you can uh, get there easily. It's easily accessible for U.S. citizens. It is a wonderful place to visit with uh, a history that stretches back uh, beyond the founding dates of most countries on the American continent. Um, and, uh, you know, there's so many things to see. Old Spanish fortresses, beautiful rainforests, bioluminescent beaches, uh, the Arecibo Observatory, which any of you saw GoldenEye, it's that observatory from the movie. Um, and there are, you know, wonderful places to travel around the island, and I can't recommend it enough. And I thought it was a perfect place for NASFIC because there's already a young and vibrant fandom there that has no idea about Wispus fandom, and I'm all about bringing all the fandom internationally together. Already we're doing that with Helsinki, why not do that with San Juan, and truly make the North American Science Fiction Convention North American in scope. <laughs> all right. Is it correct Southwest Airlines now flies there? What? Is it correct Southwest Airlines now flying? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Um, the next two questions are a little difficult to, for me to read, so if I screw up translating them, I apologize. Um, there is a significant overlap in, atten in members who attend Worldcon and NASFIC, and also people who attend the uh, International Space Development Conference and National Space Society, which is having its 2016 event in San Juan. Do you believe this will have any effect on you, and what do you plan, are, are there any ways uh, that you plan to sort of leverage that? In, uh, in what way? 
in that in that many of the people who might be also be coming to an, candidates to come to your NASFIC will have gone to San Juan the year before for the ISDC concert and National Space Society. Well, great. Uh, convention. Yeah, great. We'd love to have them again. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, once you go to San Juan, you'll want to go back. It's an absolute paradise. Uh, and, you know, we're, we'll be more than happy to uh, work with these events and with these people to bring them back uh, to uh, our NASFIC. And uh, we're more than happy to work with uh, the current seat of world cons in a variety of different ways to see what we can do to make this NASFIC, uh, you know, a great place to travel, no matter what other events you have going on in the year, uh, that it will be easy for you to make it there, as easy as we can make it, and easy for you to make all your other events, including uh, Worldcon 75 in Helsinki and uh, any other events you wish to make uh, around the same time. All right. um, okay, so the second part of the question uh, is again is is uh, there are uh, th there's rumors of uh, defunding of the Arecibo telescope and possibly bankruptcy of the power company. Do you think this might have any effect on you? And if so, what do you think? Um, the defunding of uh, the telescope and the power company uh, mostly have to do with the wishes of the locals on the island. Uh, I do not wish to impose any sort of wish upon the residents of their own uh, location. Uh, if they choose to defund it, that is on them uh, and their own voting power of the local population. Uh, uh, however, I wish that they wouldn't. The Arecibo Observatory is absolutely beautiful and fantastic. It's very unlikely that it's going to be defunded, though, uh, no matter uh, what the current situation uh, would be with those two. Uh, but also, it also uh, depends on us, because the Arecibo Observatory is uh, also federally funded. So uh, go to your voting uh, boxes and... Uh, Make sure to vote for candidates that support the Outer Sea Observatory. Okay. All right. Somebody want to know what the Spanish word for library is? That's biblioteca, bookstores, libreria. Thanks. That's gracias. <laughs> yeah. Can you uh, get there by boat? And if so, is there any kind of estimated cost? Uh, various cruise ships ranging anywhere, because I have taken a couple, uh, ranging anywhere from uh, 300 to 1,500, depending on how luxurious you want to get, um, that stop on multiple islands, uh, not just Puerto Rico. Um, but uh, we recommend that if you want to get there by boat, take something a little bit more direct. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, Puerto Rico is served by various cruise ships that not only travel in the Caribbean, but all over the Atlantic uh, and go around uh, through the Panama Canal to go to uh, the Pacific, uh, travel to the South China, China Seas. Uh, there are also cruise ships that actually go up uh, to the Mediterranean and they also go to uh, Scandinavian countries. So if you can find yourself a cruise ship that goes to Helsinki, well, all the better for you. All right. So the last question will be in two parts. Um, oh, we have another question coming up. So the, uh, um, so, okay. Why don't we ask that one first? All right. Westercon 70 is July 1 through 4 in Tempe, Arizona. What are the travel airline possibilities and are rates for the dates be rates for the dates between available? What? What? Shoulder nights in the hotel. I mean, you 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 you'll be able to fly. Yes, yes, well, yes, we are working with the hotel to have uh, affordable uh, shoulder rates, which is the proper term, uh, to uh, make sure that uh, we're able to do that for you. Okay. Yeah. We have one minute left in question time, and this is the last question in two parts. First, are there still pirates in the Caribbean? <laughs> you can dress up as one and enter into our masquerade if you'd like. <laughs> and the second part, in a related note, what is the official convention rum? The official convention rum is, uh, there is actually a wonderful rum that I enjoy in Puerto Rico called Ron Abuelo. You'll be able to find it pretty much anywhere in the United States. And uh, if, uh, you know, once we win, uh, I'll be sure to uh, see if I can arrange a, uh, a distillery tour of Ron Abuelo. Also nearby, we have uh, Casa Bacardi, which is actually in San Juan. 
and uh, you can take a tour there, the Bacardi facilities, and uh, the, uh, the tour is actually narrated by someone we all know, William Shatner. So, uh, and, definitely, yeah. And time. And time. Thank you very much. Gracias. Nada.